Weekly Show with David J. Maloney. This week, David talks to Dorothy Roberts from Robin's Nest in the Past, Rod Jones from Ruth Chris Steakhouse, and Russell Shank from the Hard Rock Casino Sportsbook. With this month's special guests, Tyler Livingston and the Absolutes. Now here's your host, David J. Maloney. Welcome to everyone at home and in our studio audience uh, to the weekly show. I am your host, David J. Maloney. To my right, subbing in for the Mojiles is Tyler Livingston and the Absolutes. So uh, world-renowned psychic Nicholas Ajula has released his predictions for 2020. Uh, in one, he predicts Paris Hilton will have a baby this year. But like Paris, he'll have to guess who the father is. <laughs> Um, hey, have any of you guys made any uh, New Year's resolutions? Um, mine is to get down to the weight I put on my driver's license. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do this. We do this every time now. Okay. <laughs> so so uh, this past New Year's Eve, cities across America had their own variations of the Times Square ball drop. Uh, for example, in Kalamazoo, Michigan, they lowered a mobile home meth lab that touched down at midnight and exploded. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad, but it's good. Um, <laughs> Uh, according to a new study, 14% of high school seniors reported vaping marijuana in the last month. Uh, the other 86 didn't know they were supposed to report it. Uh, speaking of marijuana, uh, the latest craze in winemaking is marijuana-infused wine. Uh, unlike most wine, which is served with cheese, this wine goes best with Cheetos. <laughs> Uh, Radar Online has reported that Kylie and Kendall Jenner are supposedly fed up with their half-sister, Khloe Kardashian. Uh, they say she's self-obsessed, uh, which of course distracts from their self-obsessions. <laughs> and uh, Democratic candidate Elizabeth Warren is facing a fundraising decline. Uh, they say compared to last quarter, she's taken in 30% less wampum. <laughs> That's a, that's, a, that's a good joke. Um, and in, in Bangkok, diners are flocking to a new S&M themed restaurant. Uh, I gotta say guys, that, that's really not for me. My idea of masochism is eating at Applebee's. Um, if you've never seen the weekly show before, keep watching. We've got a great show lined up for you tonight. Uh, first is our good friend and local stalwart, Dorothy Roberts, here to chat about her amazing store and the family legacy of Robin's Nest in the past. Um, then we're going to chat with Hard Rock's very own Ruth's Chris Restaurant uh, about their amazing place, Chef's upcoming busiest uh, restaurant holiday of the year, Valentine's Day. And last, we're going to cap off uh, the night with Hard Rock's uh, own Russell Schenk here to chat again about sports betting for the upcoming big game. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Tyler? Our first guest tonight is a mainstay of coastal Mississippi. Her store, Robin's Nest in the Pass, named after her sister and morning show host, Robin Roberts, has been serving the local community for almost five years now. Uh, from selling local artwork to crafting their own kernel collection and power collection, her store has such a wonderful story to tell. Please give a warm weekly show welcome to Mrs. Dorothy Roberts. <laughs> Dorothy, thank you for coming on and being with us. Thank you for having me. So um, a lot of people, they know about your their family and a little bit about, about your background, for, mm -hmm. but those who don't, can you share a little bit? Okay, well, first off, we have to have a disclaimer. I like Applebee's, okay? <laughs> so we'll just go there on that one. But okay, my family, um, what people will know about us, that we moved here to Mississippi in 1969 from Izmir, Turkey. My dad was uh, in the Air Force and we lived all over. And uh, we ended up here in 69 at Biloxi, at Keesler Air Force Base, and then into the Pasquishan area in 1975. And so that's where our family has resided uh, since that time. We still have our family home there where Robin grew up in middle school. Um, I was already in college at William Carey for one year. And um, 
mom and dad loved living there. They could have lived anywhere. Chipper, uh, Mayor Chipper McDermott says, you know, we, the Roberts family could have chosen to go anywhere, but they chose past Christian. And it's just a quaint little town that we love. And I'm happy to have my store there. And uh, Robin comes home a couple of times a year. And so it's a, it's a great, great thing to be from the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And, and how is she doing? She's doing very well. Um, uh, she's, her, she's got a good bill of health, and we're really happy about that. And we are really blessed with so many people who've asked about her, pray for her. Um, and I think that that's why she's done so well, quite frankly. Well, yeah, I mean, the outpouring of support was just incredible. Yes, it has been, and it continues to be. People come into the store all the time, and they ask about her health. Um, they say that they've been praying for her. Um, and when you have that kind of outpouring of support, like you're saying, it just uplifts you. And, um, and so we're very blessed as a family. Let's get kind of into it with, um, tell us about Robin's Nest and what the store is about. Sure. Robin's Nest in the past, and I like to say in the, in the past, past, because uh, Past Christian, the connection, is a full line gallery gift shop. We're located at 255 Davis Avenue, which is in the second block of Davis Avenue. And the reason I point that out for your viewers is that we do have people who come in and they go, well, I thought you were down on the, the lower end where there's a little shopping mm -hmm. center. I'm really fortunate to have my own building. Uh, we're right across the street from Ollie Bailey State Farm. And well, I'm, hopefully I could say that. We gave him a little plug, didn't yeah. we? Which is fine, he's a great guy. Um, and so if you come in, we've got art, pottery, woodwork, um, accessories like what I'm wearing today, um, jewelry like I'm wearing today. Um, and it's just a full line gift shop with a wide price point. A lot of times people feel like, oh, it's Robin's place. So um, they're going to think that, oh, it's going to be really... Because somebody's on TV and they yeah. think that there's a tie-in and then they think that things are going to be out of their Super. price range. Right. In fact, I don't even, I didn't like the word boutique, but I do know that we're a boutique. But we're not a, we're a boutique that's got reasonable prices, um, which I think is important. We want everybody who comes in that store uh, to be able to find something that's really important to Robin and myself. Um, and so you can find uh, beautiful little soapstone hearts that are paperweights that are made in Kenya for $3.95, all the way up to jewelry that's, you know, to the hundreds, uh, along with some painting. We have local artists, uh, consigned artists who we work with, um, and we're just so happy to support our local artists. It's important for them to have a venue. Our motto is um, creating, celebrating the creative spirit. And we try to do that every day. Um, tell us a little bit about the, the Kernel Collection and the Power Collection. Sure, I'm glad you've asked about that. The Kernel Collection is a collection of uh, bath and body um, for men. And it's named in honor of our father, Colonel Lawrence E. Roberts. Um, I partner with the Waveland Candle Company. They make the goat milk lotion and goat milk soap. It's got a wonderful fragrance, and uh, we give a little bio about our dad to continue that legacy of his work as a Tuskegee Airman, um, his life in the military at, with, with the Air Force. Um, so you've got the store here on the Gulf Coast. Mm -hmm. With your sister's connection, you probably could have put something in Manhattan or somewhere like that. What made you decide to stay here on the Gulf Coast? and? Okay. I live here on the Gulf Coast. The store is named in her honor, but I kind of run it. It's really my store. Yeah. And um, Manhattan, I'm not a New Yorker. I love to go there. In fact, I'll be there um, the first part of February to go to, the, to, to a retail market. Um, to me, it was, this is our home. And people resonate with that. Um, we have people who come from all over who say this was on their bucket list to come into this store because of Robin. Mm -hmm. They, they want to feel that connection. Robin lives in New York. She has a beautiful home in Connecticut, but past Christian is home. And that's why we have the store there. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Now, you guys are, uh, you guys are expanding soon. We are. Our building, um, we have a little bit of expansion going on, so uh, we hope that people will be patient with us. Another exciting thing is right beside Robin's Nest, there is a building that's going to be called Robert's Place. And I'm sorry I didn't give you much information on that, but Robert's Place is going to be a little cafe. 
and oh, wow. it's going to tie in nicely with Robert's uh, Robin's Nest. Um, we send people in our town to different restaurants to eat, and we'll continue to do that. But it'll be nice to be able to say, go right next door. We're going to decorate it with um, the memorabilia of our family. So it'll be a place for people to learn about our parents, Lucy Marion and Lawrence E. Roberts. You had mentioned um, uh social media, um, and I and also mentioned it being an experience, uh, but do you guys have an online store for people who can't make it down here? Thanks for asking that. Yes, we do. It's robinsnestinthepast.com, um, and you can go on. We have, um, from jewelry, we have we have a smidgen of what the store offers, because when you come in the store, we have about 30 or 40 different categories, and in those categories, you have... 100 items, you know, so our, sh our online presence is we have a wonderful Facebook um, page. People shop from that. Uh, they'll call their text. They'll uh, get a hold of me that way and say, hey, I saw this in the picture. And that really is your best way to go about getting things from us when you live away, if you're on Facebook. But we do have an online store as well. Dorothy, thank you so much for coming and, and, and we just really appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And we'll be right back after these messages. And we are back. Uh, so Valentine's Day is coming up, which is one of the busiest restaurant seasons of the year. So we thought it would be a good idea to bring in somebody from our Hard Rock's very own Ruth's Chris restaurant, uh, Rod Jones, sales manager for Ruth's Chris. <laughs> Red wine for, for Ruth's Chris, I guess Absolutely. is what they went with there. Um, so uh, Valentine's Day is coming up. Um, outside of New Year's, that's probably, I'm guessing that's probably your craziest day of the year? It is very busy. We encourage our guests to make reservations as soon as possible. We book up very quickly for Valentine's Day. You know, that was a question I was going to ask you because you got New Year's, you got Valentine's, you have certain certain types of events, certain days that it, for all restaurants right. are like the craziest day. How soon should somebody book a reservation? You know, if you're trying, for example, Valentine's Day, should they be looking six weeks out, eight weeks out? Well, we understand different uh, guest circumstances. Some guests can book out a year in advance. We definitely suggest that, you know, jumping the gun is and getting those reservations settled before others come in and, and decide to make reservations last minute. We take walk-ins as well. You know, things happen where guests may not be able to make it in for the reservation, so we definitely take walk-ins as well. But well, making reservations as soon as possible always benefits. What is, it, what is a day like on a day like that? Because, uh, I mean, uh, I've got some families in the, in the service industry, but, but really, I mean, i got to think that the preparation for that and how busy it is and the number of tables you have to turn has got to be just crazy, especially in the kitchen, no? Yes. Our staff check books daily. So for Valentine's Day, when we have a heavy volume day, uh, our staff make sure that we're, we, we prep in according to what we have on our reservation books. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I love the, the veal osobuco ravioli. Yeah, it's delicious. Because I, I, I got a little seafood steak. allergy, so I'm kind of limited on that stuff. But that's, I know that, I, I love that. I love the, the, the French onion soup. And of right. course, uh, the, the, the steaks that come out on plates that are hotter than the sun. <laughs> yes, the living the sizzle. That's what we do at Ruth's Chris. It's, it's our staple. Now, you've got something called the Tastemakers Dinner Series. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Tastemakers Dinner Series, it starts uh, February 27th. It's the beginning of our uh, Tastemaker series. Uh, this, on this 27th, uh, we're gonna celebrate the House of Rombauer. It's a five course dinner. Uh, we have many of our regulars that attend. It's very exciting. We have a video that's shown a little history on Rombauer Vineyards, and then we have our, our liquor reps that give a little education, and they are interactive with the guests. So, you, so you, what you do is you'll pair, uh, you'll, you'll have like a five course meal or our, something. We have our talented culinary staff. Uh, that creates uh, menu items that pair perfectly with each course. 
and we have the uh, liquor rep. They go around and they, you know, answer questions and just educate our guests on the uh, the, the different so notes. So it's kind of about. like a wine tasting coupled with a meal, where the wines are paired specifically with the meal as right. well. Right. Exactly. So it's exactly. a it's it's kind of like a, a better and improved form of wine right. wine right. tasting. Exactly. Um, now. Uh, You've also got something called Rhythm and Romance coming up, right? Yes, we uh, created a special event uh, called Rhythm and Romance. Uh, for those that may not be able to book on uh, Valentine's Day, we've created this special event. Uh, we're going to have live music, and we're going to have a, a classically trained violinist. They're going to, you know, just like in the old days, old classic restaurants where you have the violinist playing, and just try to make, do something a little different for our guests. And it's going to be a four-course dinner. Uh, and it's and like I said, it's going to be on the 20th. So, you know, if, if any of those uh, people who can't make it in. that can't make it for Valentine's Day, this is going to, going to be a perfect event. And, and if somebody has an anniversary around that time, probably a yes, fantastic special, opportunity for special, that. Special events, you know, definitely come in. It's going to be a great event. Now, I heard I heard a rumor that you guys were maybe going to be doing some sort of breakfast kind of thingy. What's we, going on with we're that? We're not only, only a steakhouse. Uh, we also... Um, can uh, assist with private dining and catering needs. We have three beautiful private event spaces at Ruth's Chris. We also, we're, we're in, uh, in 2019, we just started uh, taking, taking part in uh, hosting breakfast events. So if your business meeting or, you know, private event that you may need assistance with, we handle breakfast, lunches, and dinners now. So, you know, so actually if somebody, I don't want to, I don't, dare I use the word convention, but, but the thing is, is if people are coming with a, with a group, mm -hmm. uh, they could, literally book here they hotel wise stay here stay here and have their breakfast function have their meeting somewhere right still have the entertainment value right and pretty much have it all i mean like all, yeah. full resort full resort yes. capabilities full experience um now uh you you got mother's day and you've got easter coming up uh have, have you guys considered ever maybe doing a, a a brunch thing on on those days we do typically uh we usually that's qualifying our special events we do host uh mother's day events we father's day uh, different events such as that so we usually will send out an email blast on those particular So if you decide events. to do something like if that. We, if we decide to do it, then we reach out to our guests via email. How, how can somebody get on that emailing list? Uh, they could call us uh, at Ruth's Chris. Mm -hmm. We'll take their information. Our number is 228-374-2137. I'm going to have you say that one more time so we can put it right here. <laughs> yes, it's 228-374-2137. And ask for me, Rod, or one of our uh, talented uh, staff members to be able to take their information and put them on their e our email list. For upcoming event. Now I'll tell you, I remember you guys having a special event that I went to. Um, mm -hmm. You guys did a mystery, mystery dinner, dinner, yes, and that was a ton of fun, and it yes. was great because we were able to bring my son, and yes. and you, and and you guys had a meal, but the whole time right. you're bouncing from table to table, you're getting to meet yes, different it's a, people. It's a full experience. Our mystery dinners. We haven't we haven't settled on a, a date this year yet, but we're definitely going to bring it back this year. Uh, the mystery dinners. We can choose the theme uh, for uh, day before. Um, Halloween, we, we chose uh, 80s, an 80s theme. So it was, it was a lot of fun. The actors that we choose, we select, uh, they, they full experience. And so, you know, we get the guests to, to be interactive with the, the mystery solving. And it's, of course, dinner as well. Well, Rod, maybe next time, uh, maybe next time we can do something in the kitchen. Absolutely. Um, and I appreciate you being here. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, Rod Jones from Ruth's Chris, right here in the Hard Rock Casino. Thank you. We'll be right back. We are back. Um, so the big game in the NFL is coming up in a couple of weeks. So I thought it would be a good idea for us to bring Russell Schenk back here at the Hard Rack, Hard Rack, Hard Rock. I'll learn how to speak one day um, to talk about sports betting, uh, especially with that game coming up. So let's give a weekly show welcome to Russell Schenk. <laughs> Russell, somehow you are our first 
uh, repeat guest. Hey, all right. It, it may be partially because you live here, don't <laughs> That's you? That's right. I'm always up here. Um, yeah. So, um, so we've got the big game in the NFL coming up. Yes. Um, and so, um, frankly, I sadly already uh, lost the bet I placed on the Saints. Yeah, they've been. Uh, you know, the, the a lot of folks bet the futures on the Saints in this area, and uh, even though I'm a I'm a fan. The sports book did okay. <laughs> yeah, we we had a lot of liability if they didn't went right through. But oh, because uh, yeah, yeah, because everybody bets uh, before the season starts. You know, the Saints were were not a favorite at all, and uh, we we had a decent bit of liability if they went through. But well, I, got, I got I'd have rather seen them win. I got in a little late, so my by that time the odds were already not going to do right. what I wanted them to do, and that's only that's frankly because I was never I never got into it. But th- but right. this year I'm into it a little bit, and I, I'm not going to say who I I put money on one other one. I'm not going to say uh. who it is yet, but. But uh, but I can tell you it wasn't the Patriots. No, yeah, they, no doubt. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> I um, think everybody's glad. You know, Tom Brady and and that team. It was, it was time for uh, him to hand over the reins to some other teams. Yeah. How how is there any? What deadlines do you have to bet on certain things, or can you pretty much bet on anything up throughout, to any throughout point? Throughout the game, there's going to be opportunities to bet because as the team score. You can still go up. Let's say you bet on one side, and, man, they're getting crushed. Well, you can still bet on the other side. The line will change according to what the score is, but you can kind of hedge your bets. And there's we're going to have like 400 different prop bets you can make where where you can bet if, if like the even quarterback's going to throw flip? 300 yards. Can you bet on a coin like flip? like that, yes. You can bet on who's yeah. going to win a coin flip. Yeah, I mean, I have to check that one with the state, but there are, I want to say, 400 different prop bets that you can make and we'll have them on the tables we actually are going to have sheets out there so you can go through and go oh my gosh i want to bet on this and we'll have windows right there you don't have to walk through the sports book we'll have windows in live so that way you can be in there watching this thing on the big thing just take a short stroll absolutely. over absolutely and and just we'll have boards up on the wall we're gonna have two windows so it'll be a makeshift sports yes, book sir. in actual live for people yes. to be able to bet on yeah, what we did was uh, last year, prior to the big game, uh, I had our facilities actually build a portable uh, sportsbook window. So I roll it in, set it up, we're ready to go. I was going to do the same thing in my bedroom. Hey, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, um, so um, what are some of those crazy side things that people can bet on? You know, a lot of the, a lot of the prop bets, everybody thinks of the coin toss and yeah. things of that nature. But a lot of the, the action that we see is who's going to score first? Is it going to be a touchdown? <laughs> is it going to be a field goal? Uh, you know, is this running back going to have 100 yards? Uh, is this wide receiver going to catch a touchdown? Is it, so it's they fantasy have, football yeah, it's all, betting. Yeah, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. That's and wild. you get odds and everything. It's really cool. That's really cool. I didn't realize you could bet on that many different things oh yeah there's a lot you can bet on and uh it, and it just makes it fun it makes it exciting you don't have to put a bunch of money down we we take as low as a five dollar bet just so that you got some skin in the game and you're having a good time and the other thing is is is, is people can actually stay here so if they want to for lack of a better way of putting it and buy they can just crash and stay here absolutely we've got uh you know 500 rooms and a beautiful hotel and stay here and you don't have to leave and enjoy the the big game and then go out and play slots play table games and eat dinner and just have a great time we've got it all here at the hard rock man well thank you for being here ladies and gentlemen russell shank uh again i want to thank you for being here i want to thank dorothy roberts for being here i also want to thank rod jones for being here and of course don't forget to follow Tyler Livingston and the Absolutes on their social media pages. Tyler, take us home.